had so much fun at the Shu Mura event and meeting all you guys. I got so many loving hugs and smiles. It made me so happy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how different style of eyeliners can make you look so different and give you a quick and simple tutorial on how to achieve these looks. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you want more comparison videos like this and let's jump straight into the tutorial. The first line of style are droopy eyes and they're also known as puppy eyes and they're so cute and is a staple in all Jung makeup styles. I'm going to be using the Shu palette for all my eyeshadow looks. So firstly, I like to apply a slight beige base eyeshadow all over my lids to brow bone to really brighten up my eye and give me a great canvas to work on. Then I'm going to take a shimmery peachy pink color and apply it all over my lids with my fourth finger, blending the edges out. Taking the Shu Uemura Calligraph Ink Eyeliner, it's great for the environment because it has a refillable cartridge. The ink as well is so pigmented and lasts all day. I am absolutely in love with this eyeliner and it gives me so much control. I'm going to be following my natural curve and drawing it down. I'm then going to be connecting it to my bottom lash line by drawing a triangular wing. I then color in the triangle to finish off my wing look. Here is a diagram to show you kind of the angles I'm working with and how you should draw it. Blend it through by lining across to my upper lash line. Next, I'm taking a pearl color and applying it to my inner corners to brighten up the eyes and create a really cute sparkle. Finally, taking a black matte shadow, I'm blending the lower winged line along my lower lash line and I'm definitely concentrating just on the outer half of my eye and then using the rest of the product to blend forward without creating a super dark look because we really want to emphasize the outer lower corner of the eye only. Next, I'm going to be curling my lashes and I'm pumping through my lashes from the base till the end while lifting the curler up. This creates a super rounded curl that's super cute. And then finish off by applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes, concentrating on the middle lashes and making that longer than the edges because this will really create a rounded look that goes really well with the down wing eye. And personally, I feel like this eyeliner style is much cuter if you don't use falsies. These cute winged puppy star eyes look so beautiful with a thicker straight brow and pink blush applied just to the apples of your cheeks. You can also skip contour because a rounded face kind of goes so well with this look and I also love wearing it with pink ombre lips with a touch of gloss. These pastel and pink tones help keep your makeup looking really soft. So here's the completed look. It is so innocent and sweet and will make you look simply youthful and glowing and just a touch playful. This look really helps you get away with a lot of things. Straight wings are so natural looking and polished. It's the perfect look for a simple and elegant that still loves to be made up. Park Sora from Style Nanda is a huge fan of this eyeliner style and I see her wearing it all the time. So using the shoe palette, I'm going in with the light beige and applying it all over my lids to brow bone again like before. Next, I'm taking the matte soft brown and applying it just above my crease with my eyes open, blending down to my crease to create a beautiful contour that's very, very natural looking. Concentrating the color on the outer half of your lids more than your inner and blending well. Now taking my shoe and a calligraph ink pen again I'm following my natural curve and extending out in one single clean line I like to finish off this look by lining my upper lash line between my lashes keeping it really thin and just using it to make my lashes look fuller as opposed to an actual thick eye line you want it to look really really natural you want to finish the line around or even before the bottom of your pupils and then taking the soft matte brown I'm using it then to define the lower lash line and then concentrating it just on the outer corner and then softly blending it forward along the lower lash line finish off by curling your lashes and applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes
These eyes look so beautiful, just paired with your natural brow shape and also soft contouring in a really light, cool toned brown. So if you want to learn more about soft contouring, you can check out my day to night contouring video. This is definitely the daytime contouring. Finish off your cheeks with a peachy tone blush blended from the lower apples to your temple. And finally, I'm using the Shurimura Lip Lacquer in RD01 to finish off this polished look. Bright red lips really look stunning with this elegant eyeliner style and is definitely a look you can wear to a job interview or a fancy dinner or as a way to make you feel just really put together and confident because yeah this this look definitely has that feel about it her eyes or a classic wing liner is a look that can lift up your eyes and make you look sexy and confident. This is the most popular liner style in the West and CL is also a huge fan of this wing liner paired with smoky eyes. It looks so amazing on her. Using a light beige shadow again, I'm applying it all over my lids to my brow bone for a nice base. Next, I'm taking the soft matte brown again and applying it to my outer crease just like we did with the straight liner. And then I'm taking a medium brown shadow and applying it to the outer half of my lids. Now I'm gonna use a fluffy brush to blend these eyeshadow colors. Next I'm applying the shimmery beige to the front half of my lids and then blending it through. Next, taking my Calligraph pen, I'm going to create a wing up from the corner of my eye. It's really up to you how high you want to wing it. I usually follow an imaginary line from the corner of my eyes to the ends of my brows. I really won't go higher than the upper lash line. And next, draw a line from the end point towards your lash line and continue on by lining the rest of your upper lash line. You can go all the way to the inner corners for a fierce look. This line is drawn a lot thicker than the straight liner because we're gonna be adding falsies later. Now take the medium brown shadow and apply it all the way along your lower lash line for a slightly smoky look. After curling my lashes, I'm gonna be applying a winged false lash. I love these Miss Minx lashes from Tiny Minx because they're so fluffy looking and have the perfect winged ends for this look. They look incredibly soft, which I love. You can see how big a difference a great pair of lashes can make for this winged liner, and I think it's a must. Finally, apply a lot of mascara to your lower lashes to just balance out your falsies. You can use a mascara with a primer like this to get some extra length. I've drawn on arch brows to match this fierce look and you can use concealer to create an arch if you have slightly straighter brows naturally. It goes so well paired with a heavy contour to really chisel those cheeks as well as a peachy gold tone blush which helped really bring out my cheekbones and highlight my cheeks. Nude and plum lips give this look life so I chose this beautiful nude rose shade to finish off my look. I love how this wing creates such a fierce and confident look it's perfect for parties as well as every day if you really want. You go, Glen Coco. <laughs> I love to know which eyeliner style you are feeling right now and which do you think suited me the most. If you're new, I'd love to welcome you to my family and don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel if you missed them. I love you guys so, 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 so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!